Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing a story about my mental health in college. Um, I think this is a really important topic because it's not talked about a lot and many people um, deal with like depression and anxiety that goes unnoticed. So freshman year did not get off to a good start. I was assigned to Stern, which is the all-girls dorm, and I didn't make any good friends in GBO. And the only person I knew back home uh, that was also attending Cal was taking a gap semester. I made friends with my roommate, who I met on Facebook, but she formed a group in GBO, and we slowly drifted apart. I met some friends in class, but the following semesters, we just lost contact. Every day after class, I would just walk up the hill back to my dorm, sit there, do homework, maybe go to the gym, and then eat dinner. I didn't really have many friends. I tried attending the Hall Association events, but no one ever showed up. Stern was just super antisocial and as quiet as a library. I never went to the library because it was as quiet there. Then came Club Rush. I applied to my dream club, Spoon University, and got in. I was able to meet a group of like-minded foodies, but it wasn't the tight-knit culture of a club that I was looking for. So I tried to apply to AAA and Cal Japan Club, uh, thinking I would meet some friends there. They told me I'd meet my best friends. That was a lie. They were just friends for convenience. And again, the following semesters, I never talked to them again. At this point, it only been one month into college and I already was not satisfied with my college experience. My mental health just kept going downhill from here. I was never diagnosed with anything, but I felt anxiety, hopelessness, and loss of interest many times. At times I wondered what kept me motivated during school when there's nothing for me to look forward to. I got serious FOMO from all my high school friends posting about their grand lives at their colleges, all the frat parties, the game day photos, happy groups of friends, and I would just compare that to my life and be like, why is mine not like this? I came to the realization that social media was becoming toxic for me. So I turned off my Snapchat notifications so that I'd check it once a day instead of 30 times a day. I unfollowed people on Instagram that I didn't know and just tried to filter out all of these things that kept messing with my head. After a month or two of college, I met my best friend and current roommate, as well as reconnected with my friend from middle school that was attending Cal. Uh, I hung out with his friends, and even though I met new people, I feel like they all had their own friend groups that were already established, and I always felt like I was just tagging along. I also felt like a burden because they all lived on Southside, and every time I had to go back home, they'd wait with me for the shuttle to take me back. I yearned to live in the unit so bad. I was missing out on the typical college dorm life, such as those late nights at study lounges or getting food on Southside at 12 a.m. After countless phone calls home, I finally signed up for a counseling group, which is free to Cal students. I feel like most people don't know about this resource, but I highly recommend it if you're needing to seek help. Now it's spring semester of freshman year. I just have a bunch of satellite friends meeting. They live all at different places and they're not friends with each other. I also never got texted first for plans and I got exhausted of always having to reach out first. Then came time for apartment hunting. I was going to live with these girls I had befriended, or so I thought, and they told me that they didn't want to live with me because they thought I didn't click with them and that I was awkward in some social situations. Since I wasn't having the best time on campus, I decided to grow my food Instagram. Um, so I grew from 500 to 3,000 followers that semester. I was going out to eat free food. I met people um, in real life that I had followed on Instagram which was amazing, and I'm really thankful for this experience, but I was just bummed that I was always leaving campus and not actually getting the true college experience. I continued studying hard and hanging out with the few friends that I had, but I just couldn't wait for the year to be over and to return home to my high school friends. I told my mom that I felt like I didn't belong at Cal, and some of my friends told me to maybe consider transferring. I really just hated it here, and I hate to say that word. After seeing my therapist, I came into sophomore year feeling like I was going to have a fresh start. I tried rushing for a sorority, but that did not really end well because I got invited back by like the least amount of houses and ended up with the one that like nobody wants at the end. That's just for the misfits by sorority standards. After getting over this, I had a falling out with um, one of my best friends and we did not talk for the entire semester after that. Then I got rejected from five clubs that I applied to and 
that was not fun either. All I wanted was to just have somewhere that I could have a small community on campus. And that's what my roommate told me to rush AFIO, the community service track. I was super unsure about it in the beginning, but in the end, it was so worth it. Um, I really enjoyed volunteering because it took my mind off of things and I was not as stressed and the whole pledging program was non-hazing and um, everything was centered around just making new friends and socializing. So in high school, I was a goody-goody and like didn't get invited to parties and all that. And so when I got to college, I thought that the new people that I met would have these same preconceptions about me, which is totally not true. Like they don't know who I am. So um, during my fall semester of sophomore year, I tried a lot of new things. I partied and raved maybe a little too much, but I had a great time and made so many new friends. So during this time, my mental health improved a lot. I stopped comparing my life to everyone else because I was just enjoying mine so much. Um, my period also came back and I've had it consistently since then, which is great. So everything was going great and then COVID hit in the spring semester and we were all sent home. Um, I found myself alone in my thoughts a lot and like feeling anxious. Once the fall semester of junior year started, um, I became just like super busy with school and I didn't have time to be alone with my thoughts anymore and I was able to spend a lot of time with my roommate and um, started dating my now current boyfriend and yeah, I've learned how to cope with the situation, um, whether it be just like baking, spending time inside, watching a little too much Netflix or going on picnics, playing sports outside. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for listening to my story um, and by being vulnerable I hope you learned some lessons or just from hearing my experiences maybe you experienced something similar and I just want you to feel like you're not alone um, yeah and lastly I just want to leave you with a quote and a few big lessons that I learned so Theodore Roosevelt famously said comparison is a thief of joy um, much of my time at college I was comparing my life to others and not embracing my own and I still sometimes compare myself so I know it's hard but try not to compare yourself to others. I also thought that I had to have a close tight-knit friend group but I came to the realization that it's not the most important thing. It's okay if you just have a few close friends. That's really all you need, just a few um, strong relationships. Alright, gonna sign off now. Bye!